So whilst everyone has understandably been so excited by the new Side Order trailer, I feel like the fresh season trailer has honestly gotten ignored. Now this is definitely understandable because let's be honest, Side Order is so much more exciting, but there were actually a lot of really cool and interesting details that I think you might have missed within the fresh season trailer, so I wanted to make a video going over all of them that I've noticed here. Despite not being as content packed as some past updates, most likely due to the fact that we are getting side order around the same time, I still think there's a lot of really cool things here. And the first one might actually change the perception some people have of just how much content this update has, so let's jump right into this. Now starting us off, people have noticed that there are a ton of new customization options available starting with the fresh season update that was shown off throughout the trailer. Nintendo didn't overtly mention this, but we can see them, and that's really cool. Now, these will be done with the customized gear feature which we got a little while ago, which honestly has been pretty basic. There's not really been too much to do with it up until this point. However, there will be a lot more to do with it with the new update. For example, we can see here the adjustable sunglasses. This is really, really cool. I'm super happy they've allowed us to do this. I'm hoping this will be done with most of the sunglasses in the game because... I generally feel like that was the problem with the last update that we got, it just didn't have enough gear options. We can also see here a hoodie which appears to have its sleeves rolled up. I don't know if this is just the new design for it, but it does appear like this is a change that you'll be able to make with the adjustable gear option. Continuing on, we can see a new oversized sweater as well, which looks really cool. I love baggy sweaters, so I'm very happy about that one. And you can even adjust certain shoes to not have socks on as well, so the options appear to be much more varied this time around. I'm really excited to see exactly what will be in store, and I plan on making a more elaborate video about this very soon, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, for now, we're getting a lot of new customization options. Also, you can see here, given this is the season of Splatoon 2, we have Splatoon 2 win animations coming back as new emotes. These were shown throughout the trailer. It's only fair that we're getting some of these back given we've already had a Splatoon 1 theme season and of course Side Order is releasing at the same time. So yeah, it definitely seems like there's a lot of new emotes that we'll be able to unlock that are based on those win animations, which should have a lot of nostalgia for people who played a ton of Splatoon 2. I'm personally hoping we will get a bit of a beefier catalog this time around. I'm guessing some of these rewards will be right at the very end of it, so that will give people a reason to complete. But of course some past catalogs recently have just recycled old rewards so I hope we get a bit less of that this time around. Either way, the new emotes are definitely a big positive in my opinion, and see which ones you can spot from Splatoon 2 throughout the trailer because, yeah, like I said, there's quite a few of them and it's a nice little throwback to that game. And of course, from Nintendo's point of view, just an easy way for them to reuse some of the old animations that they made so many years ago now. Moving on, now this one wasn't so hidden, but I had to share it within this video. It's the Pearl and Marina plane. Of course, as this is Splatoon 2's season, we get a very overt reference to Pearl and Marina on the new stage, which I think is great. These characters, of course, are basically international superstars, so to have them on the plane like this just makes a lot of sense. And yeah, it's a great detail that will forever link this stage to the Splatoon 2 season and the release of Side Order outside of the DLC itself, which I think is really cool, so I wanted to share that here in this video. Now, taking a look at the new stage, we can see that there's actually some really interesting mechanics. For example, there are these conveyor belts where when you put ink onto these little propellers here, they will move you forward. And we can see a character utilizing this within the trailer to sneak up on another. I think this is really cool and I love when these stages have different mechanics. It's something I would have liked to have seen more of honestly. Of course, we got a lot of this back in Splatoon 2 with those shifty station stages, so I really hope we see even more of it for the remaining stages in Splatoon 3. This is definitely a really cool one in my opinion, it's a little bit different than some of the raising platforms that we've gotten on others, so yeah, it's neat. Speaking of raising platforms, this stage does also appear to have that as well as we can see in another screenshot, so there's going to be a few different mechanics on this one just to make it stand out a bit more. I still think this one looks exactly like the airport stage we got in Mario Kart 8, which is quite funny. But you know what, it's pretty appropriate for spring, you know, new beginnings and all stuff like that. So I honestly do really like this stage, and just looking at the map and like I said some of the mechanics, I think this one is going to be pretty promising honestly, I'm actually quite excited to play it for the first time. It's currently a mystery of whether this will be the only new stage we get, or if Nintendo is going to surprise us with another one, which definitely is possible given some of the surprises of the last season. 
So we'll just have to wait and see. I'm certainly hoping we do get another though. That would honestly be really great, but let's not get our hopes up too high just in case they don't. Now looking at the new stamina on stage, which I think looks incredible, we can see what appears to be a statue of Megalodontia spitting out this sludge, which I think is really cool. Now of course this isn't like a feature or anything like that, but it is still a cool detail that I wanted to point out. I think this is honestly the best looking salmon run stage in the game by far. This one is so good, you could tell they put a lot of time and effort into this because there are so many cool details. It very much reminds me of Star Wars, I think you'll know exactly what I'm thinking of when I say that. It's just a really, really great stage. There's also this cage kind of floating around too and it looks like there's something in there. But I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's just some other salmonids that they're kind of like sacrificing to the battle or something. Because you can see a bunch of lesser salmonids actually watching from the sidelines, so it's kind of like a big battle arena game for everyone. I just love this new stage, you'll have to let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section, but I'm planning on playing on this a lot. Now one of the surprises at the end of the trailer, which I think gaslit a lot of us, is the new special Splatfest feature. Now this is called Fizzbang, and at first, I think like a lot of you, I thought this was just a new mode. And I was kind of confused at first because it really does remind me of Clan Blitz. It seems to use similar mechanics to that in my opinion. But basically, it appears like you'll get four of these Fizzbang bombs behind you, and then you'll be able to throw them at other players in kind of like fireworks explosions. It does look really cool, and at one point we can see a ton of these on screen at once. So it seems like a lot of them can be accumulated over a fast period of time. But definitely when you start off, at the very least you get four of them. I don't know how you get more, maybe it's just something you have to collect around the map. It does kind of look like some of them are on the floor at points, but the trailer is purposely designed to be a little bit misleading so it's hard to tell. Either way, I do think it's fantastic that the Splatfest is getting some brand new features. It's just going to make it feel even more exciting. And hopefully we do get some sort of special Splatfest announcement for next month too. Because I know a lot of people have been let down by the one happening in February. I'm sure we will get a big run, so it'll be interesting to see if we also do get a special Splatfest. I'm not keeping my hopes up, but it would make a lot of sense given we are getting side order at the same time. So maybe based on off the hook, that would be pretty cool honestly. But let me know in the comment section down below what other hidden details, new features and more you notice within the new Fresh Season trailer. I do feel a bit sorry for the Fresh Season because it has kind of been ignored in favour of Side Order. But also, it doesn't have as much content as I think a lot of us were hoping for. And even if it did, Side Order we've been waiting for for a year now. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more videos.